I'm Dr. George Flynn and welcome to our 12th lesson, the 12th lesson in the series about your online business. Thank you for being here and the podcast, the TV show, the course, it's all right here for you. I'd like to talk to you with you about the future of online business because your online business is starting. It has a big future. What are the trends and what are the innovations? You know, this landscape that we talk about is constantly changing. And things, markets emerge and markets decrease. So you want to be, as an entrepreneur, you want to stay ahead of these changes. And it's essential for you to remain competitive. <clears throat> well, we're going to talk about the future of online business. Is it doing great? Or is it something you shouldn't get into? We're going to talk about the trends the innovative technologies, and all the strategies that will shape this digital landscape in years to come. Is it mature? Is it growing? Is it declining? And I want you to understand and adapt to these developments because you can start your online business anytime you want, whether the market is going up, level off, or going down. You can still be okay. You can position your business for success in the future of online commerce. Well, what about uh, digital transformation? The pace of this transformation is accelerating across all industries. Businesses are being disrupted. Businesses are being created. And businesses that embrace technology and streamline operations and enhance customer experiences unlock new revenue streams. That's it. From automation and artificial intelligence, AI, to Internet of Things, IOT. Digital transformation is reshaping how businesses, you know, they operate and they interact with customers. What about AI and machine learning? Well, we're hearing about this all over the place. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are revolutionizing various aspects of online business. AI is powering chat boxes, and they provide real-time customer support. They sort of provide personalized product inf uh, recommendations, and they enhance the shopping experience, and data-driven analytic tools enable decision-making. Well, AI is okay, <clears throat> but you know you're talking to a computer. So how does this work into everything? Their voice-activated devices like Amazon Echo, Google Home. They're changing how customers interact with computers and with brands. Voice commerce. It allows users to make purchases through voice commands. There are new opp opportunities for these businesses to engage with customers hands-free in a convenient manner. You know, you're in your car. You can talk to your car and it'll do things for you. So that's AI. There's another thing called augmented reality and virtual reality. So AR is augmented reality. Virtual reality is VR. Well, these are technologies. And they, they're just technologies, but they're transforming the way customers experience these products online. Virtual showrooms. You can go and look at things and you can change the angle and you can see different things and you can zoom in and zoom out. You can try before you buy experiences. It's an immersive product presentation. Virtual reality, you think you're there. And there are new avenues for engagement and you can enhance the online shopping experience because you can basically walk through a store without leaving your home. You can look at everything, you can look at it closely, you can almost pick it up and look at it, but that's virtual reality. So customers, you and me, as customers, not as business owners, we're expecting to continue to evolve these technologies. They have experiences with the big guy, Amazon, and innovative startups like you and me. So we've got to meet these expectations and these businesses, us, we've got to prioritize patient and customer convenience, personalization, 
and seamless interactions. We've got to have these interactions that are so easy for people. You know, I see it in the medical field. The patients want to have online visits. Some of these work, some don't yet. And the key word is yet. But how do you become so personalized when you've got a computer? Well, personalization goes beyond basic things about knowing your name. It's got to leverage data to create a very highly tailored experience. They've got to know things about you. They've got to know your likes and dislikes. And they're using, we will be using also, data analytics to understand who these individuals are, what their behavior is, what they like, what they don't like, and we're going to be able to deliver content and recommendations and offers to them based on what you know that they will like. And that's where the computer generation will help us know what our customers like, individual customers. Okay, what about gratification and convenience? A lot of customers, a lot of people are seeking instant gratification and seamless experiences. You know, I've ordered things online, I've ordered them in the morning, and had them there in the afternoon. And that's amazing. So you order and you have a two hour, three hour, four hour delivery, and people are beginning to expect that. So businesses are adapting by offering same day or next day delivery, one click purchasing, and subscription services that provide convenience and value. Now these subscription services will send you whatever you need every month or every two weeks. So you don't even have to order. It will just arrive for you just in time for you to use it. What about ethics? As this environment grows, can you know our people, can customers, you and me, we're gravitating toward sustainable and ethical products. We're going to have to prioritize eco-friendly practices ethical sourcing and transparent supply chains that is going to resonate with a lot of customers and the customers that are coming up, the younger people, they want eco-friendly uh, pro products and practices and services. Well, we've got to diversify the strategies that make the risk and tap into new revenue streams. This includes launching product lines that are complementary. We're going to focus narrowly, but we're going to launch product lines that are complementary toward the product that we have or the service that we have. We're gonna expand into new areas and offer subscription-based services. That's very important because once you have a subscription-based service, people usually continue to buy and buy every month, every two weeks, maybe even every week. There's a, we've, we've heard of Bitcoin and we've heard of blockchain technology. Well, it is gaining traction among a lot of industries, including online businesses. It, it really has applications from secure payment processing to transparent supply chain tracking so it, it enables a business to enhance security and build trust with customers. They know when they give you their sensitive information using blockchain type uh, re interactions that this will be safe. Safe for the customer, safe for you, so that hackers have a very, very small chance of getting into a blockchain. Bitcoin, they pretty much uh, helped us develop this blockchain. Mobile commerce, a lot of people shop on their phones, on their tablets, and we've got to optimize our website and our platform for mobile device. It's really not an option anymore. You just got to have it, because so many people are shopping on their phone. It's a necessity for capturing mobile savvy customers, and if you look around, you'll find more and more people are on their phone, or on their screen, not talking on the phone, they're on their screen online constantly. Just look around.
People are online constantly. What about social commerce? Well, there are a lot of social media platforms and they're becoming, you know what they're becoming, shopping destinations. You, you see it on Facebook, you see it on Instagram, you see it on Twitter. Everybody is shopping and these social media platforms are offering products and services. So social commerce, uh, they enable the users to discover and browse and purchase products directly in the social media apps. So they don't go to websites, they go directly through the social media app and it sort of blurs the line between social interaction and online shopping. You never know if you're going on some uh, you know, social media site, if you're gonna be pitched or if you're going to be presented with a product that you may really want and know, and it's so good, and it fits in so well with what you want, you didn't even know it was available, you didn't know you wanted it. But now you do, and so you buy it. What about the gig economy? You know what that is, that's Uber Eats and uh, DoorDash and all kind of delivery services. Well, the gig economy, and it also has remote work. It has implement, uh, it has, Online businesses are being impacted by this constantly. People wanting to work on their own schedule, work from home, work from across the world, and also physical delivery services. But these e-commerce platforms provide opportunities for individuals to sell products online. And remote work is opening up for a global talent pool for businesses like we have to tap into. So your employees, your people helping you, may be in way around, the, totally around the earth. You may have somebody in India, may have somebody in China, may have somebody, you don't know where they are, but you know they're doing the job. What about data uh, privacy? Data breaches and uh, privacy concerns, they're headlines. Businesses got to, we've got to prioritize. Data protection, we cannot have a hacker. We've got to implement strong cybersecurity measures. We've got to comply with all kind of data protection regulations because we're handling people's money. And we've got to transparently communicate privacy practices. We've got to be critical about this. And I strongly suggest that you use some outside service, some onboarding service, some service to take payments for you so that you don't have to do all of that yourself. That is a real risk because you're handling money, someone else's money. So what do we do? In the future, we've got to embrace emerging trends and the technologies. We've got to keep up. It's equally important to align these innovations with your business unique goals with your customer base so that they know you care about them. And I want you to continuously learn and adapt and stay informed about the latest trends, the innovations, the market shifts. Invest in ongoing learning to understand how emerging technologies, we, you can leverage them. They can be a help or a hindrance. We're going to make sure they help your business and enhance your operation and customer experiences. So we've got to be agile. We've got to look, we've got to see a trend. When we see a trend, shift where we're ahead of the trend. We don't want to be behind the trend. And I just want you to succeed. And these things are things you've got to think about, not to scare you away from online business, because you can succeed. All you got to do is keep these things in mind and we'll show you how to succeed. I'm Dr. George Flynn, thank you for watching.